Good morning, everyone. Destin Legary here with a news break for your Monday morning. Today we have Steam Awards and Revenue, some cool Star Wars facts, and an expensive statue. All that coming up right about now. Or now. First, let's talk about Hideo Kojima. We all know this man is amazing, and now a statue of Ludens, aka the Kojima Products mascot, is being made available and will cost $1,999.99. That is, is quite, quite an expensive present. Created by Sideshow Collectibles and Prime One Studio, the statue will ship in early 2018 between January and March. The statue is about 63 inches tall and features a flag sporting Kojima's logo and LED lit helmet. Of course, this will be limited in production, but 150 will be signed by Kojima. So if anyone has an extra two grand and gets one of these things, let me know because I sure as hell can't afford one. Speaking of things I can't do, like make a lot of money. Steam has announced the top 100 best sellers of 2016. At the top, games like Fallout 4, Dark Souls 3, Civilization 6, and the overly controversial No Man's Sky were featured. GTA 5 was of course also on the list even though the PC version of the game was released in 2015 because I guess everyone loves hopping online to create some mayhem. Let's switch the image there. Uh, or, or they just like installing a bunch of silly mods. Also on the Steam front, the first ever Steam Awards were given out, however, they were a bit arbitrary. Winners included Villain Most in Need of a Hug by Portal 2 and Just 5 More Minutes by Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Kind of cute. Maybe next year Twitch will do arbitrary awards and I'll get that coveted Who the Hell is Destin trophy I've been waiting for. Oh wait, I kind of have it if nobody knows who I am. Anyway, talking movies for a second, Star Wars Rogue One sold a ton of tickets in 2016, of course, but it ended up being the second highest grossing film of the year. Being beaten by Finding Dory's $486.3 million, Rogue One hit roughly $425 million at the box office, but did you know that it could have been an entirely different movie altogether? Apparently, each scene in the movie was shot about three or four different ways, allowing for a completely new movie according to actor Ben Mendelsohn. He said, we did have multiple, multiple ways of going at any given scenario, switching the image. We, we had multiple readings of it. When asked if there was enough to make an alternate version of Rogue One, he said, with enormous differences within, I would have said 20 or 30 of the scenes, adding, there would be enormously different renderings. Do you know what this means? There are at least three or four different puns uttered by Darth Vader. I cannot wait for that collector's edition. Those were my favorite stories of yesterday. Do you like what you're seeing? Then don't forget to hit that follow or subscribe button or just show your support because without it, this magic will fade away like Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future. It's the best joke I can come up with. Anyway, watch me live most of weekdays at 7 a.m. Pacific on twitch.tv slash the Destin channel for more. Thanks for watching.